Good morning, dearest brothers and sisters. I uh, I pray you're all having uh, an amazing, blessed morning. I just feel this uh, sense of, of being renewed, uh, you guys. And uh, I just wanted to say all, all thanks, praise, and glory go to our Father. Only He can light a fire within you again uh, to continue to push forward. And again, and I'm going to, I'm going to probably do this every video. Uh, I just want to thank each and every one of you for all your beautiful and amazing comments of encouragement, you know, helping, helping me push forward. And, um, I just want you to know, I'm going to, it's going to be the same for you as well. Uh, that's what this is all about. You guys, we're, we're supposed to be there for each other, for one another, uh, holding each other's hands, moving forward. And that being said, um, the Father put it on my spirit. Um, I, I haven't done something yet that, um, and I apologize, I'm, I'm just on a break right now, so I'm just trying to get things off here so that it doesn't uh, make too much noise during this video. But the, the Father put it on me to, um, I've, I've never introduced myself, you guys. Um, I know you uh, know me as Matthew 24, 13, 14, uh, and I'll get into that explanation in a moment. But my name is William, and um, I chose the name uh, Matthew 24, 13, 14, because uh, the, the chapter of Matthew 24 just really, really stood out to me when I read it. It just blew my mind, and, I, and it really gave me a sense of actually being there um, and, and sitting there, um, you know, watching our Savior sit with the apostles and explain the times that are, are to come. And I just could imagine their faces as he sat there and explained everything. And, and they're just looking at him going, wow. You know, and as I mentioned before, our savior goes through this long list of, of things that are going to happen. And then he says to them, and this is the beginning of sorrows. And I could just picture them kind of looking at each other going, Wow. And here we are, you guys, we, we are living, think about that, right? Like it just gives me goosebumps. We are living those moments that our Savior was sitting with the apostles explaining in Matthew 24 of what we were going to go through. This is it right now. And it's just the most glorious, amazing thing because we have been blessed and honored to actually be able to go through these times that were documented in the good book to what the future would hold. And here we are. We are the future. So I, I and I'm and I, I'm gonna do what our father asked me to do. I made some notes and I tried to be a little more organized and I'm just pumped, you guys. I'm very, very excited um, because it, it just I, I love being corrected. I love when the father takes the time to actually correct you and, and explain things to you. And um, you know, the Matthew 24, 13, 14, uh, be, he that shall endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. That verse 13 just stood out to me. Um, you know, the word endure, you know, where we're going to have to go through something trying. And, and the ones that can, can endure through that to the end, you guys, will be saved. So this is a message of hope that we, we've got... The explanation of what's laid out before us and, and what the end goal will be, what our reward will be. And so it just always put a smile on my face when I read it. And then going into the topic of my next video, number, verse 14, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And it just blew my mind because I would, would always think about you know, how the gospel would reach, you know, the four corners of the earth. And um, I always just thought it was the Bible, you know, the Bible would find its way and travel its way around. But the father corrected me. And um, he, again, his timing and how he, things are done are so perfect. It just, it makes me excited. Because I, I got a comment from a subscriber. And um, I'm going to read it to you, you guys. And, and at first, I'm actually going to explain. I, I, the Father put it on my spirit before I even saw this comment. I, I made a statement yesterday in my video that kind of irked me. And it kept he kept bringing it up to me to try to understand it. And I made the comment that 
the reason why I don't do so many videos now is because I feel like I've done every topic so much that I was maybe getting to where I was annoying you guys or it was just too much. And again, that's not of the Father. That is our enemy telling me to zip it, be quiet. They don't want to hear from you. You say it too much. It's just that voice, you know, telling you you're no good. Get lost. I rebuke you, Satan. Leave me. Because the Father has put it back on my spirit to help me understand what this is all about. And I want to share it with you today. And I want to share it with my fellow watchers, my fellow brothers and sisters that have channels. And, and the reason why we do this, the Father has put it on me and explained it to me. And, and he did it in, in ways uh, that just blew my mind. So I had this thought on my spirit about, you know, that, that statement irking me. And I couldn't really figure out what it was. And it just, it sat there for, you know, since I made that video. And then all of a sudden I get a comment from a subscriber and bless her heart. Like I just want to reach through the screen and give her a kiss because she helped explain it in a way that made it all make sense to me. And the comment uh, says when, and her name is Tanuja or Tanua, Tanua, and I'm sorry, dear, if I butchered that name. It's not my intention, and I love you. I do, because you uh, you helped me realize something here through the Father. But she said, when one world religion is coming, give information. I'm from India. And it blew my mind, because in my eyes, I felt... Um, and this is not through the Father's Spirit putting on me. This is through the enemy telling me that you've done the New World Order thing. You've done it to where you, you don't need to do it anymore. You don't even need to comment on it. But it couldn't be so far from the truth, you guys. We feel like we've done certain topics over and over and over and over again. And it's to the point where nobody wants to hear it anymore. But then you get a comment like this that makes you realize and understand why we do what we're doing, watchers. You've got this beautiful person in India asking, you know, when when I have some information about the one world religion, the new world order, to, to help give it to her. And it made me realize, and it, how funny is her father to say, uh, hello, it's in the title of your name, Matthew 24, 14. The preaching of the gospel needs to go to the four corners of the earth. And by helping our fellow brothers and sisters throughout several different countries, sharing as much information as we can is exactly what is needed so that everyone has an opportunity to hear the gospel and to get the information that's needed so they understand what season we're in. So this beautiful person made me realize that not all countries in the world have an opportunity to hear about things as we do because a lot of things are censored. Use China, for instance, you guys. Think about how much is controlled there to where they have not a great opportunity to even search for the gospel, let alone the opportunity to read it. And if you think about all these underground churches that are there, Christians being persecuted worldwide, this is a very real thing. And if you live in a place where you have a little bit of freedom left, it doesn't sink in like it should because you're not necessarily going through it. But praise the Father for this message. It make it really truly made me understand that people don't necessarily have an opportunity like we do. And this is the reason why I've been called to do this channel is so that I can share whatever it is that the Father puts on my spirit to get it out there, to get as much information to all of our beautiful fellow brothers and sisters all across the earth. And so, again, I'm just pumped because it, 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 our Father is perfect. And he not only puts it on my spirit to, to really kind of think about that comment I made and know that I didn't like it and that he didn't necessarily approve of it. And then here he was sending another fellow brother or sister to, to affirm that and to make me realize the purpose of it all, you guys. So then he put it on my spirit to actually go and... Um, take a look at the analytics of the, the YouTube channel, okay? And my channel, our channel, has 468 beautiful brothers and sisters. And I love each and every single one of you. And this whole thing has just been an 
utmost blessing in my life and praise the Father. But he, he directed me to the analytics and he wanted me to read to you the reach out of this small little remnant we have of 468. These are the countries that the videos have reached. United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Philippines, South Africa, India, Poland, Netherlands, Russia, New Zealand, Ireland, Brazil, Barbados, Italy, Argentina, Greece, Iceland, South Korea, Sweden, Chile, Kenya, Portugal, Costa Rica, Germany, France, Croatia, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, and United Arab Emirates. Unbelievable, you guys. And I've got goosebumps, and, and I believe goosebumps are just a big, giant hug from our Father, you guys. It's an exclamation point at the end of the lesson. And he really wanted to show me how our message watchers, fellow brother, YouTube brothers and sisters, the reach of our Father's message, when it needs to get out, it's getting out. And for such a small remnant that is going on here, for it to reach that far, it just truly put everything in perspective to me, you guys. So I, I, um, I want to definitely do something here today um, that I've had other fellow brothers and sisters like Mike, the Light God Sea Warrior, and other beautiful um, channels. I want to do this for another fellow brother uh, of ours. Jordy, I love you, my man. He's, he's a young man, very young man. And uh, if I had half the faith that you have right now at your age, it's amazing. And this message is for you right now. Keep pushing forward, my man. He started a channel, just as we all did. Starts off with one. Jordy, it started off with one. Now you've got two. And dear brothers and sisters that are out there, I, I would love for you to be able to support this young man and help him push his ministry forward because this is what it's all about. Let's reach the four corners of the earth so that we can prepare fellow brothers and sisters for the coming of our King. So the name of this channel is Acts 17. I'm going to leave a description in uh, the comment section as well as the main description. So please, if you've got an opportunity, go over and subscribe to this man. He uh, mirrors a lot of great videos, and I just want to give him some fellow, you know, some encouragement some, from some fellow brothers and sisters to keep going. Jordy, keep going, my man. I love every comment. You are very, very wise for your years, and just keep pushing forward and keep promoting truth. So I just want to take a quick look here and just make sure that I've, I've gone over everything that I wanted to. And uh, yes, it definitely looks like I have. So brothers and sisters, this whole journey has been amazing. Lots of ups, lots of downs. But we have to understand that all of the ups and all of the downs are lessons. They're, they're equal lessons to either correcting something that we're doing in our lives or to be shown that we are currently on the right path. So I, I want to thank you all again for taking even a second out of your day to listen to any of this. Let's keep pushing forward, you guys. Let's keep promoting truth. Let's keep sharing the gospel and truth to fellow brothers and sisters so that they may come to that knocking door. I've tried for many of year uh, to, to jam stuff down people's throats, and, and I'm, finally the Father has given me the understanding of, of to have patience and love and, and let that person come on their own, and for me to just be that moment or that person that they needed to, to see so that they may understand what that looks like. And I'm going to continue to do that until the last breath that the Father grants me, you guys. I was sitting with my wife uh, yesterday, and she was having a conversation about something that was going on in her life. 
and I could hear the enemy t giving me answers, trying to, trying to finish her sentence for her. And I used to do that. I was terrible, terrible. Always felt like I knew better. I, I know better than you. Like, why? Just listen to me. I'll, I'll fix all your problems. It's the worst. That is pride. That is ego thinking you know something more than the other person. All that she wanted me to do was listen. That's it. And I could hear the father's voice clear and plain as day. Do not say a word, William. Just sit there and listen. Let her speak. And he made me realize, who do you think's giving her information right now? Who do you think is working through her temple right now, helping her get through what she's explaining to you right now? And it made me realize that every single time that I cut her off thinking that I knew better than her, it was the enemy trying to give, give, get me to give her the wrong information and to frustrate her and only damage our relationship. But praise the Father to be able to listen and hear him and hear him tell you, William, zip it. I've talked my whole entire life, you guys. And the Father has finally put it on me to understand, to step back and listen and be quiet. So I love you guys. This whole thing has just been so amazing. So amazing. We're so blessed to, to go through these things that we're going through. And again, I love you guys. Keep pushing forward. Hold the line. We can see the finish line, you guys. So we just have to endure until the end and the same shall be saved. So Father willing, I will do another one of these. I pray you're having a blessed day and you guys take care of yourselves. Bye.